Hello, I'm Michael, and today I'm going to talk about multiple files open up at the same time and how that looks on a low-end computer. You would think that having multiple files open would slow down the computer. Sometimes that's the case, but in this particular case, due to the optimizations that we've applied to the computer, things look a little different. So I hope you enjoy what you are about to see. One tool that is built into Windows is Notepad. And it's a great tool that I love in professional settings. But one tool I love equally as well is Notepad++. It allows you to manage multiple files at the same time within one program and it gives you features for managing and manipulating those files that you cannot find in a notepad by itself. And so I have just downloaded Notepad++ after searching for it on Google. And all I have to do is go through the installation steps, change whatever options I need to, which in most cases there are no options you really need to change, and then just go through the installation prompts, wait for the installation to finish, and then just go ahead and launch it. Um, Notepad launches with a list of changes that have been made over the history of Notepad++. I just go ahead and clear out that file and then close the program because what I want to do is find a few files to open in Notepad++ just to verify the functionality of opening multiple files. And so I'm going to go to the file menu and I went to a website called data.gov where I was able to download a two gigabyte file and then extract that out um, into approximately 81,000 files, right? And so I'm going to do a test run here with about 15 files. Let's open 15 text files in Notepad++ at the same time. And again, we're doing this on a computer with an Intel Pentium processor running at 1.1 gigahertz when you have a lot of computers out there now running at um, you know, 2.6 and 3 gigahertz and some at 4 gigahertz. But you wouldn't know it looking at what we're doing here. So now that we saw how effectively um, Notepad++ was able to handle these files, these 15 files, now let's try 50 files. I have selected 50 files to open at the same time in Notepad++. So there I go, I just kicked it off, and there they are, all 50 files. So between the optimizations that I made in the earlier video in how to optimize Windows and the efficient nature of this Notepad++ program, when you combine those two efficient factors, you get greater productivity and you're able to handle multiple files that are of a text-based nature uh, very effectively in Microsoft Windows. And so I'm going to close all of these tabs, uh, get rid of all of these files, and the reason why I do that is because Notepad++ remembers what you last had open and it is a very convenient way to keep up with files that you've had open. But that's it for Notepad++ today. Thank you.